Hey guys, 47 Mailman here with Let's Play Pokemon Black and White. In the last episode, we started off our adventure and got our first I mean, we got our first Pokemon. Uh, his name is Majestic. Oh, actually, you can't see him right now. Oops, he's on bottom screen. He's an Oshawott. And uh, yeah, we got him up to level six. We met our rivals uh, Bianca and Sharon, and we got to meet meet him up here at Route One. So let's go meet him. Kevin, it's it's this way. Bianca says we're starting a journey together. She wants us all to fit, take our first steps at the same time. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, Kevin, let's all take our first steps in, to Route 1 together. You just said that, but okay. Uh, okay, here we go. One, two. Oh, no, three? Uh, that's confusing. Oh, a wonder what will happen. This is so exciting. It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Uh, Professor Juniper. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry we kept you waiting. Now everyone's here. Explain. I'll explain, I'm sorry. Uh, the Pokedex pages uh, update automatically when you meet a Pokemon. Moreover, it is a step up to the often... To a... To step, step up so that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokemon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokemon. So this is pretty much the tutorial on how to, to catch a Pokemon. Um... So there's a pat rat over here. Um, yeah, so it's just gonna have. It's gonna show you what to do. I will explain this myself. Well, show it doesn't really take much to explain. You just gotta weaken the Pokemon, and um, when the Pokemon's weak or has a status infliction, then um, you throw a Pokeball, and higher the more damage it has on it, the higher chance it will catching. So I'm gonna throw a Pokeball there. I don't know why the screen went blurry for a second. It's kind of weird. And I'm sorry about the, um, like some lines, you may be able to see lines in the video. Just ignore them if, if the best you can. I'm, I, there's really nothing I can do about it. So, uh, yeah, she just demonstrated how to catch Pokemon. And blurriness. Uh, did you see that just now? Uh, here's how it goes, step by step. First, okay, I already explained all this, so we don't have to do that. So we got some Pokeballs. Um... Uh, Pokeballs are used for catching and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Accumulate Town. Uh, she forgot to say the Pokemon jump out at you in the tall grass. I'm heading to Accumulate Town, too. I think I'll go, too. Well, where is this there to go? I mean, there's a water route, but you can't go in there because you don't have surf. So it's really the only place you can go. That's where you're going to. I'm going to look for the uh, next town that I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Congratulations. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, listen, Kevin, Sharon, I forgot it. I thought it was something fun. But we need to get going. I imagine the Pokemon professor's waiting. W would you just listen for a sec? Seriously. I don't know. Uh, I don't see why, who can, why don't we, I'm uh, sorry. Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner. Huh. Actually, it sounds in interesting. I'll fill up my Pokemon Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it'll be... I will please the Professor, too. Okay, then. Until we reach Kimo Town, take care of healing your Pokemon at, my, at your own house. Me and Tepig will do the best, for sure. You know, I never really, really read the intro stuff, because it's all tutorials. So, um, but now I have to read it, and it's just really boring. So anyway, here, we are here on Route 1, and you can see on the sidebar, we have a 50% chance of, uh, tip of either Pat Rat or, um, Lily Pup. So we're gonna walk into the grass and see if we can find a Pokemon to fight. And now, later in the game, I'm just gonna start cutting out wild battles, but, uh, in the beginning, I'm just gonna keep them. So here's a pat rat, level two. So we're just gonna destroy it with our majestic Pokemon, majestic. And cool. Yeah. So later I'm gonna cut these out, but for now I'm just gonna keep them, at least for the first route, and just to show what it's like. Yeah, I, I like Pokemon Black and White because in Diamond and Pearl and um and and uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver. The battles took so long, like, the animations were really long, but in this game, like, the animations are really quick, like, and I think everything everything looks good, like, the pixely type of thing. So if you talk to this girl, she will, oh, that was loud, if you talk to this girl, she'll give you a potion, potions heal your Pokemon by 20 HP. Um, yeah, so, I'm gonna keep looking for some Pokemon to fight. 
Uh, circle, circle, circle. Really? I hate, uh, later in the game you're gonna get running shoes. And, uh, it'll make everything, it'll make it so you can run faster. But, uh, for now we don't really have shoes, so it's kind of annoying. So we're gonna find another pat rat here. I haven't found any lily pups. Um, pat rat isn't really good for your team. Like, the first time we played it, we weren't really good Pokemon. Like, first time we played Pokemon Black and White. We weren't really good Pokemon players, so we used the Pat Rat, and it was okay, but it wasn't really that great. I learned some psychic moves, but it just is not that good. And Majestic learned Water Gun, so now we have a special move. Actually, I'm going to look at the stats of Majestic for just for a second. Um, stat summary, and Bashful Nature. Now, I don't know what any of the natures do, but I don't really care. Uh, it has... More special attack than attack, and tackle does 50, and water gun does 40. But at water gun gets the same type of tap bonus, so uh, water gun will be the more powerful move. Yeah, the same type of tap attack bonus is really where um, if you use a, an attack that's the same type as uh, the Pokemon that's using it, you'll get twice the damage on it. So we found a Lily Pop. Lily Pop is actually pretty good for your team. Um, it evolves twice into. Uh, Actually, for a herdier and then something else, but it becomes a really good Pokemon. Uh, I suggest it, but I'm not going to be using it for this run because uh, my spots are valuable. So it's getting near us, lower the fence, and um, there's a water gun again. Destroy it. Okay, so yeah, the competition that they were talking about, it doesn't really matter anything in the game. So I'm not going to catch any Pokemon. Um, if you get uh, they all, they all, both have one, po two Pokemon, including their starter. Um, so, they won't let you pass unless you compare. So, if you didn't catch any Pokemon, well, Ash, Ash won't get, get lonely. Incidentally, if you check your Pokedex, you'll see how many Pokemon you found and, and how many you've caught. Off to your Kingdom of Town, the professor is waiting. The cross transceiver is ringing. Four-way call. Hello, how's that? You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Oh, Professor, right now I'm not. I'm in front of a cumulative talent Pokemon Center. I'd like to show you around, so hurry on over, everyone. Okay, the Pokemon Center, right. Okay, see you. So, uh, uh they're all gonna be like, okay, well, go on ahead. And so we're gonna head right into a cumulative town. And this is some pretty good music. Uh, before we go to the Pokemon Center, I'm actually going to uh, explore the city a little bit. Uh, not, not really a city, but a town. Uh, so let's talk to this girl over here. What's this? You and your Pokemon somehow resemble each other. That does not make any sense. So, um, we're always the same. We can pick whatever Pokemon we want, so it doesn't really make that much sense. And so we're going to head over here. What do you have to say? Oh, your Pokemon, you're so lucky. I envy you. I want to be a trainer, too. Well, you're too young. Uh, youngin. How many Pokeballs do you have? If you think you don't have enough, it's time to good idea to buy some at the Pokemon Center. And uh, he's probably gonna say something about Pokeballs. Oh no, it's it's important to train your Pokemon in a battle. In a battle, but when their HP goes down, take them to the Pokemon Center. All right, so let's see what's going on upstairs. Nope. Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, did not mean to go back down. So we're gonna head down here, and what do you have to say? Someone, uh, someone said the Pokemon are different. Uh, someone says that because there are different ideas, dispute disputes will arise. Someone else said that because there were different kinds of different ideas, the world will expand. I guess they're both right. That does make sense, actually. So let's see what this guy has to say. I've just gotten married. Men and women are so different, aren't they? Uh, but I don't see much difference between male and female Pokemon. Well, some Pokemon are pretty different. Um, so let's head back down. Oh, there's nothing in the, this house. That was, uh, kind of lame. But, uh, let's see what else is in the town. Unfortunately, we still, we, like I said before, we can't run yet, so, uh, it's kind of lame. We have to travel pretty slowly. We're gonna ignore Professor Juniper for now. Oh, what's Sharon doing out here? I never knew who's here. Uh, wasn't that professor waiting for the Pokemon Center? I know about the Pokemon Center already. Anyway, I want a battle soon. Real p battles are the best way to become strong, become stronger, you know. So what do you have to say? Let me uh, give you a benefit of my experience. You listening? The mo number of Pokemon you can take with you at one time is six. I already knew that. Come on. P 
Pokemon do everything the power to people. They treat these Pokemon with love and affection. That's what I think about. That's what I think our mutual relationship is. Oh, what? He's just gonna jump right in front of me. And over here, there are gonna be some weird guys in spacesuits being like, uh, excuse me, we are still preparing. If you could continue to be patient. So it's gonna not let us through. Anyway, so let's see what's in this house. I think you can get some items. Um, nope, let's talk to this lady. If you wanna get strong, you can move forward. Uh, if you move forward, then you'll be stronger. That's a cool thing about journeys. Oh, he's so funny. Um, what do you have to say? Pokemon will be strong if you train them, you know, even if they're weak now. Love is what's important. So they're all just teaching you that loving Pokemon is the best. Um, so, yeah, everyone in the Unova region is, region is a legend. I think that's not true because I'm the only legend, obviously. Uh, this is a Pokeball I got in, in the in the past, so I'm going to give it to you. Alright, so we get a, po a whole Pokeball out of all that. Woo. Uh, you can catch Pokemon if you don't have a Pokeball. There are many types of Pokeballs, so use the best one for the job. That's right. Um, yep, and what do you have to say? Hi, hi, let's play Pokemon... It's Pokemon Rock, Paper, Scissors. Uh, so we get to pretty much play Rock, Paper, Scissors with his fat, Fire, Grass, and Water, the Triangle of Types. I'm gonna go with Water for Oshawott. Oh, I lose. Oh, Oshawott, you're already losing. That's horrible. Um. Yeah, so let's head out. And we're gonna head to the next building over here and to the right. And see what's in here. Um, what do you have to say? On Route 2, many trainers train their Pokemon by having them battle. Yeah, that's right, on Route 2, they're gonna have our first instance of r random trainer battle. Not random trainer battles, but just trainer battles in general. Guess what I know? I know Pokemon, I know Pokemon can remember up to four moves at a time. Hee <laughs> hee, yeah, I knew that too. So, uh, let's head up here. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I'm so sorry about this. That's better. It's kind of crooked, but what do you have to say? Weak Pokemon, strong Pokemon, cool, cool Pokemon, cute Pokemon. Many Pokemon to look forward to meeting you. And, wow, you have a great bag that can store anything. Why don't you buy a lot of potions and put them in your bag? Oh, I thought for sure you'd give me a potion. Um, but, yeah, the, we can't access the mart without seeing Professor Juniper. And I think we're going to explore the city first before we see... Professor Juniper, the Pokemart. Um, so the last house up is up here. This is actually a pretty interesting house. As you can see in the background, uh, Pokeballs. Or in this game, items or Pokeballs. Or items that you can find are Pokeballs. So um, yeah, there's some Pokemo Pokeballs there. Beautiful scenery and relaxing sounds. Oh man, I sure do love this place. Sure makes me feel happy. Well, that's great for you, but I don't really care because I'm, I'm a legend. What's, why I keep hitting the camera? I'm so sorry. So if you talk to these two people, they will uh, add to the uh, the music in Cumulo Town. Sounds pretty good. Dun, dun. I thought I liked this music a lot, actually. So um, yep. So we're going yeah, So we're gonna head down here, and we're gonna finally talk to Professor Juniper. Um. Ah, Kevin, there you are. Traveling with your Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you to the most important place for trainers to know. Ooh. And we go into the Pokemon Center. Uh, Pokemon Centers are a lot better than they used to be. Um, you used to only be able to heal your Pokemon and access the PC, but now in this game they added the Mart in there, so you don't have to find the Mart in other places. It's also a lot more convenient, because uh, it's just easier to spot. Alright, uh, so they're telling us to heal our Pokemon, so... Um, yep, I'm gonna give him our Pokemon, and we're gonna heal it like that, magically, without any cost, which is, Pokemon Centers are probably the best thing ever in, oh, excuse me, in Pokemon games. We just, re we've rested your Pokemon to full health. Hope to see you again. Alright, so now they're gonna talk about the PC. I'm gonna explain it myself. The PC is pretty much a Pokemon storage system. Uh, you can put Pokemon in there, and you can take them out, and... All that stuff. Ooh, you just heard my cr me, me crack my toe. Sorry about that. It's kind of disgusting. Um, so yeah, you can store Pokemon and stuff. So, and they're just explaining everything. And then over to the right, you have the Mart. Hold on. 
Now over to the right, you have the more you can buy Pokeballs, potions, pretty much anything you really want. And then the bottom guy, um, yeah, so, yeah, the bottom guy's not really that useful. So, um, yeah. And then, so just kind of keep talking to us. Kind of annoying. Um. Ooh, what should I buy? The poke potions, Pokemon, uh, Pokeballs, definitely important. Hmm, thinking. So it's tough, but I'm actually going to show you what you can buy. Right now, you can buy a Pokeball and a potion. Ooh, -hoo. I'm actually going to buy a couple potions, um, just to have, just in case of emergencies. Um, so we're going to head out to the Pokemon Center. And, what? Sounds like there's something going on in the plaza. Uh, well, let's have a look-see. So, uh, pretty much, Charon's gonna call you over if you try to go anywhere else, so, um, he's gonna say, yeah, come on here, come here for a second. And then, this is Team Galactic. They are pretty much the Team Rocket of this, uh, generation. I'm not really gonna, uh, read all the, the things he's saying, because if I did, it would be like a 20 minute video. I don't really want that. I want to be these, these videos, I mean, they want them to be kind of long, but I don't want them to be too long, and reading all this text is just boring. He's pretty much talking about liberating Pokemon and um, how pe keeping Pokemon in Pokeballs is uh, torture, which it really couldn't be, because um, they love us. Everyone loves me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to skip all, all of this. So Team, team Galactic, pretty much the uh, team, uh, team Rocket of this generation, Team Plasma. Wait, no, this is, this is Team Plasma. I was thinking Team Galactic from 4th Gen. Sorry, so Team Plasma is pretty much the Team Rocket um, of this generation. Team Aqua, if you were in playing 3rd Gen. So, uh, this guy, with ran this random guy with green hair is going to talk to you. Your Pokemon. Now, ju now, just now, it was saying, slow down, you talk too f What do you mean? You're talking pretty slow, actually. And what about this Pokemon talking? This is an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you can't... Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. That's the worst name I've ever heard. I'm sorry, you just... Who... What... What mean child... Or what mean parents would name a child N? It's horrible. So, N is pretty much another rival. You get three whole... You get a whole three rivals in this game. It's, they're pretty annoying. So, he's gonna start with a, um, with a level 7 Purloin. With the moves, I don't know. There, it's all gonna be on the sidebar, so I don't have to explain. Sorry, my sister walked in. All right, so um, all the information is gonna be on the sidebar, so I'm just gonna use Water Gun. My majestic Pokemon over here. Purloin is your first Dark type. Uh, Purloin is actually not the good of Pokemon at all. Um, it evolves really early though. Um, it gets really fast and gets kind of high attack, but it just it doesn't. Does it once it evolves? It's it's kind of good, but as you get higher in levels, it just starts to get worse and worse. There's really bad defenses, it's sort of like a sweep, sweeping kind of Pokemon. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna finish it off with the tackle, and um, yeah. So first battle ends pretty easy. This is only Pokemon. Um, yep. So Majestic gained 118 points and is now at level eight. Yay, go Majestic! Uh, defeated trainer and I never expected here Pokemon. Oh wow, just skip that. Go ahead. So, and it's just gonna be like, ah, uh, this stupid liberation of Pokemon. And he's gonna walk off. Ah, uh, strange guy, but I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, trainers and Pokemon, trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going ahead. I'm gonna battle the gym, gym leader of the next town, Street and City. Uh, aim to battle the leader after the, after the gym. Aim to battle the gym leader. Oh, aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. Best way for a trainer to become a strong one, stronger is to challenge gym leaders in each area. So Jaren's just gonna walk off. And now I think I'm gonna end off this episode. So uh, if you like this episode, please uh, please leave a like or a favorite or whatever. Uh, I'm actually gonna save right now. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, I think it, it might be kind of a long video because I actually did have to cut because um, I had to leave and I didn't come back for a long time. So I don't know how long I've been recording. So I'll see you guys next time when we're going to head into Route 2. I'll see you guys later.